Yeah, it's um, certainly would have been understandable had he just made the announcement and and moved on with his life and taken care of himself. But um, he's certainly going to be and has already been an inspiration to to many that look up to uh, a person of prominence, a person that's accomplished so much in his uh, short life already, but still struggles with something that I think all of us can relate to to some degree. Uh, we tend to put these guys into a box that they're a vi- playing on a video game or they're robots where they throw on a, a helmet and pads and they're just not human. They just go out there and they score touchdowns and, and play football. And um, certainly they battle with all the things that, uh, that uh, we are all uh, aware of, whether we've battled them ourselves or family members or friends whether they deal with relationships or finances or health issues or all the things that are challenges to all of us in life. And then we expect as football fans for them to go out there on a football field on Saturday, put all that to the side after they put in probably 40 hours of, of work uh, and uh, their schoolwork and everything else and just kind of perform. And um, it's certainly a, uh, kind of a slap in the face or a wake up call to all of us that uh, we're dealing with human beings here. And um, they, again, encounter all the same things that we do as well. What was encouraging as well, Pat, is that, um, that there was acknowledgement from the, the Miller family yeah. um, uh, of what kind of support Ryan day and the rest of the Ohio state family brought to, um, to the Miller family and, and that it wasn't just kind of a well wishes hope everything goes well, but it was, it was true support. Yeah, absolutely. And, and this is a family obviously that, that they've known, you know, obviously you, you get to know these families in recruiting and, and Ryan day was active uh, very much. So in, in helping the Buckeyes land Harry Miller, you know, this was a five-star kid. Everyone wanted him. I mean, he's supremely talented and so, you know, the, the relationships are built with every program or with every player. But obviously, when when you're going after somebody who who the whole country wants, the head coach gets involved, the position goes, every, everyone's involved in that. So the Miller family certainly has a, a strong relationship with Ohio State. And, you know, this was something that Harry battled. His his mom revealed, I believe it was, that, that this is something that he he battled even as, as a kid. He came to her to talk about it previously. So. You know, I think that the fact that they were able to to use the the, the resources, the the fact that those were available is important. And, and back to what you were saying about, you know, the, the human element of this, I think there's kind of two things. I think with, with football, maybe hockey, any sport where, you know, guys are wearing the helmets and the, you know, you don't see the person as much. And I think that does kind of dehumanize them even more than, than a basketball player or a soccer player to some degree in people's minds. Not that those players don't also deal with that because they certainly do. But I, I think to your point that that's a, a contributing factor. Um, and Harry also talked about kind of the abuse that major athletes get and, you know, that the, they're under a microscope at a, at a place like Ohio state, especially, but really anyone who's, who's in kind of the limelight regularly they're under the microscope all the time. And, and, you know, it's not just coaches and people that know the game, but it's any, anybody on social media who can send a direct message or send a tweet, send a message on Instagram. And, and sometimes, most times I think those are positive things, but, you know, we, we saw with, with EJ Liddell and the Ohio state basketball team after they lost in the NCAA tournament two years ago, the abuse he got and, you know, it's just, it, it, you have to remember that, that these are people, and I know people get emotional about sports and, and, you know, that's part of the the enjoyment of sports is, is the, the highs and the lows, but especially these kids, I mean, you know, this, this really affects them. It affects some guys more than others. And, you know, there's a lot more going on, as you said, Mark, than, than just the football with these kids lives. Yeah, certainly. I think we can all, uh, relate to receiving some kind of feedback on social media, especially doing what you do and what I do and, and and taking some level of offense to that. Even if we, we try to be tough, we, we, we don't want to be criticized and amplify that a thousand times when these guys are laying it all on the line on a football field and then doing the work that none of us see from day to day or very few of us see from day to day throughout the entire year. 